Hello everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome back to another episode of the Book Hater Club podcast. We have gathered here for today for episode number 19. I just looked it up. I can't believe we're almost on episode 20. What will I do? I've got some things written down. And so I also have some things written down for today. I'll tell you right off the bat because I have... Well, it's not that many things I want to talk about, but I have some things, and I know me, and I'm a yappa, so I'm just going to tell you right off the bat what we're talking about today. So in case you're wondering, not wondering, but in case you want to watch at least something, then you can skip, because I'm going to put timestamps. Mm, you don't have to listen to everything if you don't want to, so I'm going to talk about myself, <laughs> then I'm going to talk about merch, <laughs> then I'm going to talk about... I have to look at the list. See it? I just never remember anything. It's good that I have a notes, uh, the, the notes app, what do you say? Note app exists. Then I'm going to talk about my current read. Then fourth wing news. And then our topic for today, our main topic, is the fairy loot drama that happened. I think it's already, pa we're like past the drama already, but I'm revisiting it and telling you guys my opinion on it. And it's so nice that this happened because again, when something like this happens in the book community, I have a topic to talk about in my podcast episodes. But if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, just general topic wise, you can comment that down below because I keep a list <laughs> so I don't run out of topics. Cause sometimes I'm sitting there I'll be like, what I'm gonna talk about next. I have a list, but it's not that long. It has like two things on it. <laughs> So you better tell me something or else we also we always have to wait until something happens. I don't want to do that It takes too long. That being said, I am a little sick as you maybe can hear so if I um, I don't know what it call what's called in English when I'm You know my nose is stuffed and when I go, I'm sorry I hate when people do it and I will try to avoid doing it when I do it in my videos I always cut it out, but since it's a podcast, I don't do that many cuts and so I'm sorry, disclaimer, I'm sick, I'm so sick. Since the Haunting Adeline video, honestly, I think that um, they put a curse on me. I think they put a curse on me for me to be sick forever. Honestly, I've, I've never been long, lo what? I've never been sick this long. Can't even formulate any thoughts and put them out in the world. I can't even speak, embarrassing. But I do my best for you guys. So before we get into the topics, for today. I'm so excited to be yapping. Um, disclaimer, this will be very yapperish. It's going to be very yapperish because I didn't take, I did take notes, but there's going to be a lot of, I was going to say, a lot of misinformation will be spread today. No, I'm done. I just don't know everything as well as someone who does like a video essay. So this, that's why I always say I'm yapping. Anyway, let's give a shout out to my members. <laughs> Before we get into the nitty gritty of today's episode, um, my members, they get my videos a day early, they also get um, a shout out in every video, they get exclusive content such as my ruby red movie commentary, and they have really cool um, stickers in the comments and next to their name, and they also get my eternal peace and love, and someone said what if an author that you don't like would become a member? I would block them. My members are Haley B, Ashley Ranger B, Miss Premanga Trinity ELW, Clara S, Kushimita, Deja, Queen Sif, Courtney, Grace, Eloet, Probably Brie, Marissa Simmons, Lacey Lace EDC, Joe Beans. <laughs> Whenever I see a name like Bean with B, I always want to do boom. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you why in a second. Samwise, Uzaki Swimfree, Megan May, Carrie G, Sydney, Haley Charles, and my newest member, thank you so much for joining, is Emion. Emion. Maybe that's French. I don't know if that if I don't know if that's a name. Emion. If it is, I've never heard of it before. I think it's really pretty. Reminds me of like um, Emily because that also starts with E M I. In case you didn't know, uh, but maybe it's just a not nickname. How do you say Kunstlername? How do you say an artist name? Like a URL that you came up with. If that's your name, it's really pretty. Thank you so much for joining. You now have uh, my eternal peace and love. <laughs> I hope it feels nice. The reason I always want to do like a bing or like what I always say instead of zoom is always zoom, you know? I don't really know what that's called. It's not called anything. It's just me being silly. Um, I My boyfriend's TV is stood right by the foot of his bed and it's very kickable. And when I sleep over at his apartment, his bed is a single bed and I always sleep on the floor. Yes. 
he does not sleep on the floor, I have to sleep on the floor, and I have a blow-up mattress. But that blow-up mattress, <laughs> I have to leave a little bit of space with my head, so that in, if he has to get up in the middle of the night, he doesn't step on me. He can, like, step out of the bed and doesn't disturb me. So I'm always a little bit lower than his bed, just like you know, parallel-wise, and my feet are then exactly next to the TV. And I've accidentally, accidentally, I will have to read it, accidentally have kicked it multiple times during the night. Accidentally. I've apologized. And I think I kind of broke the, the sound. Um, me not mechanics, how do you say? Electronics in it. I don't know. <laughs> the sound. The speakers. And whenever we were watching, um... What we were watching? Hunger Games. <laughs> we were watching the Hunger Games. We did a marathon, trilogy marathon. And at some point, President Snow says, says something like, zoom in on that. Obviously, watch in German. But he did, the, the word zoom is also used in German. And then he goes, zoom. And so I always have to think of that. That is the explanation on it, okay? That's why I think that way. Just so you guys know. Zoom. I, I Accidentally, I kicked it. Watch the ad so I can watch him. Uh, I can watch him a new TV. I can buy him a new TV. He doesn't deserve. I want a new TV. That's why you should watch the ads. Anyway, let's talk about our first topic for today. Uh, my current read. I don't want to talk about it. Um, it's Bride by Ellie Hazel. My members voted for it. I am not surprised that it was voted for. And I actually, I just wanted to talk, tell you guys about it because I put it as currently reading on Goodreads a while ago, a few days ago, and usually, or in general, Ellie Hazelwood books, they don't take you that long to read, peace and love. If they do, that's fine, but I mean, just like from the thickness of it and from the contents, it's not something that you need to sit with for a very long time. I have not been able to get forward with this book, but after this video, this review, uh, no, what is it? What is this? Podcast. After this podcast, the next video is going to be the review for the book. So if you are uh, wondering what I am doing after this video is done and edited, the, the three cuts that I have to make, uh, I will be reading Bride. I will be marathoning Bride this tonight and finishing that book probably in one sitting. I think I'm like, I don't know how many pages it has as a physical version, maybe 500? Maximum 500. I've seen it in person, but I can't judge how big it is. Anyway, I've read like 200. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Okay? It's so fucking boring. I fucking hate- Oh my god. I was gonna say, I fucking hate Ellie Hazelwood. I'm gonna talk more about it in the review. But um, I do have a little bit of a schedule that I made up in my head. That I wanna- I've been trying to do it, but life's been a little bit busy. So I haven't been able to fulfill it. But I wanna get back into the groove next week. But that just means I have to read like one book a week. <laughs> a lot for me <laughs> as a book reviewer that's a lot for me i should be reading more realistically right and so i could do more content but i just don't like reading <laughs> i'm kidding i like hate reading i obviously that's why i do it but ellie hazelwood she is just i've said again i've said it before in the podcast she's on the hate list she is her name is on the hate list some authors names don't make it because i don't care enough about them ellie hazelwood she is on the list and you know where she was recently Germany. You know where I am currently? Germany. Who would have guessed? In the summer, I'll be in Greece. Guys, I already painted my nails. Summer vibes. It was not a summer vibe today in Germany. I still put this blue. I think it's so pretty. I'll be in Greece. That's a different topic for a different time though. Um, I'm just going on vacation. But anyway, what did I want to say? She was in Germany. I saw she was doing interviews with Hugendubel. Hugendubel is a book chain in Germany that I don't have where I live. I don't know if it's like located only in the south of Germany. I know it's in Munich and stuff. Or if it's all over Germany, it's just not where I live because where I live there's a different chain, Talia. Um, but she gave, she answered fan questions and I've never listened to Ellie Hazelwood talk. I only know her from that one interview. If you guys watched my Check It Mate review that I did, that was this year. She was asked in an interview how old she was. Sorry, this is an Ellie Hazelwood run. She, she was asked how old she was. She was like, oh my god, I don't want to say, can I say my 30s? Like, I don't want to be weird. Is that weird if I say my 30s? Yeah. Yeah. It is, girl. Just say how fucking old you are. What's the fucking issue? Anyway, she's just a millennial. Peace and love to all the millennials watching, but she's like, I 
exuding like cringe. I'm sorry, like not every millennial is exuding cringe, not at all. But for me, Ellie Hazelwood is like, um, how how can I put this? She's like what what Taylor Swift is to some people who don't like Taylor Swift. I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I don't care. I don't listen to her. I, I don't give a fuck. People can like her. I don't get why people are always so mad when people like Taylor Swift. That's like a different topic. It's like, don't you have anything else to be mad about? I'm saying that. Look at my channel. Like, <laughs> don't, don't I have anything else to do? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is my hobby. Anyway, Ellie Hazelwood. Be, be sure, no, be glad that I did not know you were in Germany while you were in Germany. <laughs> I'm not threatening Ellie Hazelwood. I hope she lives a peaceful life, but I also hope that she puts the pen down. <laughs> Guys, I hate Brian. <laughs> it's so bad. And the thing is like, I've seen so many TikToks about it. And, uh, how do you say? Ex, ex, oh my God. Ex, excruciating, ex, excruciating. Did you know that I get the word right every single day, but I cannot pronounce anything? Excruciating amount of... I don't even know what I want to say now. Why did I say excruciating? Why did I want to say that word? I forgot. I'm all over the place. It's because of the haunting Adeline curse that's still lingering on me. I have not so the overview moment. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's cringe. In moment, there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay. I was trying to say an excruciating amount of TikToks on my For You page where I'm unsure if they're sponsored because everyone's talking about Bride and also the amount of TikToks from Ellie Hazelwood herself talking about nodding. Guys, it's an Omegaverse, a hetero Omegaverse paranormal romance. And the amount of people being shook by this and everything. And it's, I'm reading it and I'm like, I, I, how is this news? How do you not know about Omegaverse? Even me, someone who did read fanfiction but was not in that sphere at all, even I know what that is and I'm not shocked. People get shocked so easily, I feel like. Maybe I'm just better. No, I'm kidding, obviously. Anyway, I hope the dude from university answers me, guys. I've told you there was a lot going on, but I didn't want to tell him. I don't even know who this man is. I fucking hate group presentations, alas. Next thing, let's talk about merch. So, I am doing merch, guys. I am currently at five, no, oh my god, I'm manifesting five million subscribers. I'm currently at, well, almost 4,400 subscribers. And I've talked about having a bookmark done and already in my possession before. And that is the truth. But then I was thinking, I don't want to just sell one bookmark. I don't want to sell just one bookmark. I think that's boring, especially because not everybody reads physically anymore. Some people only read on their Kindle. And so I have decided that at 5,000 subscribers, <laughs> I will release my merch. But that's the truth. Like, I was thinking about it just because I didn't want to do it out of the blue and for like no occasion. And so I think up until it's 5,000 subscribers. I think it's gonna happen this year, but I just don't know when, like in the summer maybe, when I'm in Greece. No, hopefully not, because I'll be busy swimming in the ocean and eating gyros. I'll be busy. So, anyway, tell everybody sub to subscribe if you want my merch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be selling it on Etsy. I already started making the shop and thinking about it a little bit more. And I want to do three different bookmark designs and three different sticker designs. Just so that everybody can, or like people can pick something that they like. I'm going to try to figure out how to make like bundles so you can get a discount and stuff like that. It's not going to be expensive. Um, it's just the money that I get from my memberships. Love you from the book haters. And from the ads. Watch the ads, that's what I'm telling you, watch the ads. And I'm reinvesting it into the channel to pay for the merch and shipping it and everything. And I'm going to I'm going to be doing it over Etsy because on Etsy it's the easiest as far as I'm concerned. Like I looked onto Red or into Redbubble and stuff like that and making an own website. But I think over Etsy just for the beginning also it's just easier because I can put in international shipping. It's not going to be much. It's going to be shipped in letter form because bookmarks and stickers are obviously nothing that I need like a full package for. Um, 
just so that it's affordable and if you want to you can support me by buying something obviously nobody has to feel obligated but i'm just telling you so you tell everybody to subscribe tell everybody tell your work no don't tell your work buddies i don't know what they're like if they're cool you can tell them but not if they're weird anyway hope everyone's excited it's not gonna say honestly sophie don't worry because I always hate merch that says like, back in the day I never got it when YouTubers did merch with their face on it or their name. I was like, why the fuck would I buy that? Why the fuck would I want everybody to know that I watch you? No hate. I did that. I also thought that about YouTubers that I like really watched. Because I w I'm young enough. No, I was, wait, I was young. Now I'm old. But I was young when the British YouTubers were really big, like Zoella. And so I watched her. I'm not sure if she ever did merch with her face on it, but I'm, I bet one of those bitches did that I thought that. Because I remember specifically thinking that, but I just don't know, remember, I just, oh my god, I just don't remember who it was about that I thought that. But, you know, you can probably guess some things it's gonna say. Maybe. <laughs> if you think a little bit about it, it's not gonna say honestly Sophie, but it obviously has to relate to me. <laughs> me, Sophie. <laughs> anyway, that's it. <laughs> I just wanted to announce that, or I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update because I mentioned the merch before and I didn't want to just leave it up in the air and you guys think like, I'm not, I'm quitting it, I'm quitting it. I'm not, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I read all of the books I hate, from start to finish. I am reading Bright from start to finish. He did answer me, the dude from university. <sighs> BRB. Anywho, what's really interesting, and everyone has been shaking in, in their boots since I mentioned it in the beginning, we have some Iron Flame, uh, no, Fourth Wing, oh, Fourth Wing, I can never remember, there's too many books in that series, it's too many, too too many, um, updates for everybody, super exciting, and I'm so happy that I didn't film this video yesterday, because I wanted to film it yesterday, and uh, something in my bones was telling me, don't do it. Just kidding, I fell asleep at 8 p.m. Which might be normal for some people, but it's not for me. I was very sleepy that day. <laughs> and I fell asleep, and then I didn't film. Because usually when I film my videos, I or the podcast at least, since they don't take that much editing, I will film them, I will do the few cuts that I have to make, and then I will upload it. And then my members pretty much see it immediately. Like, an hour later, an hour after I filmed it. You're seeing me in real time if you are a member, basically. It's like a live stream. Should I do live streams? I don't really know. My boyfriend's like, oh, you should do live streams. I don't want to do them. I feel like I'd be so boring in a live stream. I don't know. Anyway, Iron... F no, fourth wing update. Um, I woke up this morning and I only saw one TikTok about it. And that was after I had been on TikTok for a while. Like, it wasn't the first thing I saw when I opened the app, which was very interesting to me. Because usually that shit I, also, I always get on my For You page. Even if I don't follow anything regarding to it. There is a book number three. There is book number three. It was announced on America, Pfft. America TV. What is it called? Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Uh, Iron Fl No, Ugh, fuck off. Fourth Wing Three is coming, and we even got a title and we got a release date. The title is Onyx Storm. Onyx Storm, and the release January. Next year. January next year. 21st of January. I can't remember that without looking at my note. Um, that is already in my calendar. No, just kidding. I said in my Iron Flame video I was not going to read this third book. But I feel like I have to. Because first of all, many views. <laughs> Second of all, I feel like I'm synonymous with uh, hating on fourth wing. Like when people think of a negative fourth wing review, they think of mine that I did on Goodreads with the skinny jeans. And so I'm the face of the and I'm the face. I'm just declaring myself of the anti fourth wing movement, <laughs> of the anti Rebecca Yahak train, the hate train. She's on the hate list, and so I feel like I have to read it. What do you guys think? Do you think I should read it? I think everyone's going to say yes, right? But it's very interesting to me that she is releasing it like a normal person, a year after the last release, which was not something that we could have. Well, it's something I've dreamed about. Because Iron Flame and Fourth Wing were... No. Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. If there's a third book in the mix, how am I going to remember any names? How am I going to remember any names? Um, There was so much... 
uh, so little time between the two releases that was one of my main critiques that she didn't take her time so now she has the time do you think it's gonna be better Ugh, I think I have to rate it. Ugh, guys, okay, you convinced me. <laughs> Nobody said anything. <laughs> yes, guys, I'll read it. Oh my god, you don't have to worry. I don't know what's gonna generate. Oh my god, I'll be 24. Mm, that being said, everyone is curious about the fairy loot drama. I don't know if you guys heard about it. I heard about it on TikTok, of course, my number one news source. I'm so sorry for everybody who uh, doesn't have TikTok slash... The Americans that are getting a TikTok ban. Sorry guys, my number one news source is TikTok. TikTok is like Facebook to me, for like Facebook for boomers. When I believe everything is on Facebook, I believe everything on TikTok. No, I'm kidding. I do have some critical thinking skills. Not everybody on TikTok does though. So we have some drama in the bookish subscription community that I am not a part of, obviously. If they sponsored me, I would rave about them. If they sent me a box every month for free, I would... I don't even know what I would do. Outlandish things. I'm kidding. Anyway, if you guys don't know, Fairy Loot is a bookish subscription box. There's other ones like Owl Crate... Owl Crate? Okay. Owl Crate, Book of the Month. Do I do any other? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't I write down any others? I'm sure there's other ones, like smaller ones also, but um, the most well-known ones to me are Fairy Loot and Owl Crate. And they've been around for a little bit of a longer time. They, so, I think, I don't know if Fairy Loot has been, I think they've been around since 2017. I don't know when Owl Crate got on the market, maybe a little bit earlier, but I did really, really want a subscription when I was 14. When I was 14 and I was getting into reading and I was reading everything that fell into my hands, I wanted I wanted the subscription so bad. I was like, I need a... I don't even know if they shipped to Germany at that point. Um, shipping is crazy anyway. Like, for boxes. Oh, why did I say it like that? <laughs> okay, for boxes. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't really know where I thought I would get the money from, but alas, I never got one. And... You know, I'm kind of glad I didn't, because what the fuck would I have done with that shit? Peace and love to people who have it. If you guys have a bookish subscription, you guys let me know if you enjoy it. The thing that is bigger in Germany is like a beauty subscription. It's fallen off, but at the time it was really big. It was called Glossy Box. Maybe that's like also an international thing, I'm not sure. But it was a makeup um, monthly box. And my friend had it and I was really jealous of her, but she's also an only child. So, no hate to the only children, but that might explain it. Alas, what are bookish boxes even? If you guys don't know, it's a monthly subscription that you pay for. And you can either pay every month or six month plan. I think it's also like three, six, 12 month plan. And each subscription typically includes a newly released or sometimes an already published popular book in a genre of your choice. And um, there is a set theme for the month. So they will say like, Oh, maybe it, it actually is the one for fairy loot next month. Ruthless Fay or something like that is the theme. And they won't tell you what book it is until you get it. So it's a mystery. But you can get bookish goodies <laughs> unrelated to the book in that box that are, however, related to the theme. So for their February box, I was on their website and I saw that they had a theme that I don't remember. And it was a newly released because... Fairy loot, we're talking about fairy loot now. Fuck owl gray. Oh, why do I keep saying owl? Owl. I know it is owl. Heh? Maybe because in German it's called Euler. And so that sound is more sim- eh, whatever. We're not speaking German. So I don't have to even, like, look for any excuses. For fairy loot, they release in their boxes a special edition of a newly released book that comes out that month. And so there's a, like, alternate cover, there's... A pretty sprayed edge, which is nothing new to me as a German. As we know, Germany does sprayed edges on everything, even your fucking textbook. Just kidding. They haven't done that yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that soon. Like a fucking math calculator, blah, blah, blah. Shut up! Guys, somebody free me of my curse, of my haunting Adeline curse. She really fucked me over. What's her name? H.D. Carlton. Ugh. Don't even want to, I don't even want to speak her name. There was a 
book fair in Germany the last week, the week before that, in Leipzig. I don't know where that is. Peace and love. Peace and love. I don't live close to that. I wouldn't have gone anyway. But the amount of content I saw about it was so excessive. I always get the one that I don't care about. And then there was like, a bit Dark Romans was big. And then there was like a um, stand specifically for Haunting Adeline. And you could get, you could stand next to a paper cutoff of Zaid. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, there you get a new release. It looks special. You can't buy it in store and exclusive to Fairy, fairy Loot. And you get unrelated content. to Like related content to the book. Like stickers or character art. Like printed out or maybe... I've seen uh, tapestries and shit like that, but it could also be things that are not related to the book specifically, but more to the theme. So, as I said, the February box was some fave, or not fave, but just like some fantasy related uh, theme. And they had a baseball cap in there from Fourth Wig. Sorry, I had to do it. Um, and it said Basquiat on the um, cap, if that's how you pronounce it, because Rebecca Yarhart doesn't know. But she's getting a teacher! She's literally in a lesson right now! To learn Gaelic. She's literally in a lesson right now, guys. Don't worry about it. Do you think she actually did it? I don't, th I don't think she's doing it. Peace and love. I don't think she's doing it. I think she was lying. <laughs> I think she was lying because she got backlash. I don't think she has the time. Um, anyway, what else is in there? That's actually the thing. Um, some books are signed. They've been doing a lot of digital signings now, which means that the uh, signature is just printed into the book, which like, why the fuck would I get that anyway, to each their own, but like, I want a real, I want a real signature. I could, I could just print it out. <laughs> if I wanted a digital signature, I could just print it out and glue it in there. <laughs> anyway, that's just me. And, um, Fairy Loot is very popular, right? They have different subscriptions. You can get a YA subscription, a new adult subscription, um, both together, but then only the books. Like, you can choose a plan that only includes the special edition book every month and not the goodies around it. That's a little bit cheaper. I think it's like £30, because they're from the UK, UK-based. £30 a month, whatever that is in your currency. I don't know where you're from, so I can't tell you. It's a lot of money, though. It's a lot of money. And there's also a new subscription... <laughs> A new subscription theme coming out next month for April. Is it next month April? Yes. Sorry. And it's actually, can you guess? If you had to guess like a new a new subscription box with a genre. It's romanticy. I don't want to make you guess. It's romanticy. They're releasing it next month. They've been announcing it since like November last year. And if you look up Fairy Loot Drama on TikTok, I guarantee you you will get so much. So much drama around Fairy Loot. They are not just in this one drama that we're talking about today, the most recent one. They've been in drama. They've been in drama and also around this romanticy thing. It was allegedly, I saw this in the comments, advertised as the spicy books. Bo <laughs> books? <laughs> the spicy box. Um, so there's young adult, new adult. Romanticy and Romanticy is supposed to be the one that with spicy books in it and then I went on to a page that guessed the book from Fairy Loot what they were going to include because obviously it's a mystery until you get the book But there's a Instagram page dedicated to guessing it They're really good at that apparently and people were going off in the comments like I thought this was a spicy box why is this like young adult? Uh, why are they not fucking? You need an erotica uh, subscription. You need an erotica book subscription. You are a porn addict. I've talked about it in my dark romans. My mind is so mushed. I don't even know. My dark romans podcast episode. But that's some drama around that. It's really interesting also for them with this drama that literally just happened. How they're going to handle that. Since they have a completely new subscription plan releasing now. You can also not join this subscription or any of them you have to be on a wait list you have to put your email into a wait list and whenever a spot opens up you get an email and they're like hey you can join now if you want to and now i have to leave and take a little break but fear not i shall be back <gasps> oh my god i'm going to do a, a transition wait 
You guys already know. Heirloot also has their own shop on their website. It's called the Trove. And if there's, I don't know if there's like limited editions of books left over, <laughs> but you can purchase them through the shop. They do these editions because, because I saw somewhere I was like, that's a new release. Why is this in the shop? Why can you buy this? Also random merch that you can purchase. But from what I understood, if they do a special edition of a already existing series, they will make it available in the shop. And it will have a special cover, it will have a special foiling. Did my anklet just break? It did. Guys, look how cute this is. It has little hearts. Oh, wait, I have to be like a YouTuber. It has little hearts on it. My necklace also does. It just broke. I think if I put it back on, it would be too tight on my... Ugh. Whatever. That's so upsetting. I'm gonna be strong though. No, it doesn't match my necklace anymore. Now it just looks silly. That being said, something that you could purchase off the website, because it's an already existing series, is the new it, the new Throne of Glass special edition, which this whole drama revolves around. They announced, I don't know if they previously announced that they were doing a Throne of Glass relaunch, but obviously it's been out for a while. The series has been out for a while, we've not gotten any new content in that um world for a while and so they announced hey guys we're doing a throne of glass special edition sprayed edges new covers dust jacket with art inside the book also with artwork the heart covers artwork everything's full of art the world is full of art we're doing it everyone was excited um i don't know who everybody is i wasn't excited it's kind of reminiscent of the whole do you guys remember the whole drama around the crescent city 3 release when Sarah J Maas announced that there were going to be five exclusive chapters for their respective store so like um they say one say one american target <laughs> one american store target got a different oh no i need two target got a different bonus chapter from barnes and noble so there was five in total and people got so worked up about this and i talked about it on the podcast too when it happened and then already I was saying, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? I wouldn't buy them anyway. Like, not, not, that's not the right way to put it. No one's making me buy this. And so I'm not going to. People got mad over it as if they were obligated to make this purchase. You know what I mean? And no one's making you buy anything. Realistically. It's your choice. Why are you so mad? And especially with the chapters I pointed out that... You're going to be able to read them on Twitter. You're going to be able to read them on Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, doesn't matter. People are going to post them as a PDF online. It's not that deep. Now, of course, with the covers and these braid edges, it's a little bit of a different story because it's a physical object. So, I'm going to put them up on screen. Wait, let me scoot over. I want to put things up on screen this time. I never do it. <laughs> I always show you guys on my phone, but my phone is crusty. So, I'm going to try to do my best. Um, first, let me tell you, they announced a set of sprayed edges and it was going to go for $200. If you have $200 to spare on an already existing series, book series, on any book series, even if it's a new release, doesn't matter. Even if you own the books or not, if you have $200 to spare, period, good for you. I don't. Good for you! So, $200, and they were saying that they were going to release Assassin's Blade to Air of Fire first, and then release the other four books later for cost splitting or whatever. And all put together, the, the, the edges all put together, would make up a picture. It would make up a picture. I think this is like a newer thing, because with... The Mortal Instruments, there's a collection where the spines make up a full picture put together. This, the edges thing, I don't know where it's coming from, the hype. Anyway, the covers are very dull. I will put them up on, on the screen. Trust and believe. I will do that. Look at them. <laughs> I don't know. I just I have to imagine now they're right here. Um... They were very dull, or they are very, no, they were, they were, because they were not releasing them, I'll talk about it. Very dull, kind of boring. Um, I think a lot of people were mad about it because they expected something more vibrant and whimsical. 
and what kind of came out was something that looked dull and boring. Peace and love, you know, peace and love to the artist, of course, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> People were displeased by the design, by the design, and it's ugly. No, no, I wrote down, people were displeased by the design as it is ugly. <laughs> okay, queen. And doesn't match the colors. They thought that the colors weren't appropriate for the end of, like, the book that it was supposed to be. Whatever. People were getting mad over it. Now, the main issue, though, was the edges that I've been edging you with. <laughs> and here is the edges. Put them up, Sophie. Future Sophie. Sophie in... 30 minutes put them up and the reason people were mad about this is because they said it's ugly and trust and believe no not trust and believe how do you say uh i agree i agree i think that with peace and love this looks maybe even uh, peace and love allegedly ai generated it's ugly why is there the first book i think has only tree on it why the fuck would i want a book with only a tree on it it's not really giving it's not giving anything, it's giving boring, it's giving... I couldn't think of anything. And I said it with peace and love, um, the colors are also not matching the, the descriptions from the book. For example, we have this, this deer in front, and the stag that is in Throne of Glass. If you've read Throne of Glass, if you haven't, then you wouldn't know, but it's a very prevalent figure in the story, and it's supposed to be white. They made it brown. They made it brown, they put a little hawk in the sky, that hawk is a very specific hawk. Again, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read the series, but I'm very sure that people were also complaining about the color of the hawk, which I can't really say anything about. I don't remember how it was described in the book, but people were saying this is also in inaccurate. And then with the castle, again, no castle in the book looks like this. No castle in the book is described to look this boring. They all have something about them that makes them special, or at least I, th I think the... Actually, I don't have to... I don't even have the picture of the cover right now, of the of the edges. I think it's grey. I don't think there's any grey castle in the book. So people were like, what the fuck is this? What's this supposed to be? And rightfully so, I think, said, why the fuck would we spend 200, no, two, yeah, 200 dollars on this if it doesn't even represent the series? We've been excited for this. But then people, instead of saying this to Fairy Loot and being like, hey, this is a flop, we don't want to buy this, they went to the artist it started harassing the artist. Now, from what I understood, there are two different artists that were involved in this. One of them was Morgana O Anogam Anamom, Morgana backwards. Maybe you know them. They um they've made a lot of art. Their name is Salome. And from my Throne of Glass video, I also have some art on my wall <laughs> from them because they've just made a lot of book related art. And I've known them for a long time as an artist, like of their art. And they designed the character design that is inside the book. They didn't make the covers, right? They made character design. They didn't draw a scenery. It was not them. But people went out of their way to message them death threats over freaking edges. Sorry? <laughs> Where are we? But they messaged the wrong, pe the wrong person. As far as I'm concerned, I've not seen anyone speak about this. But I'm pretty sure they they went after the wrong person because that uh, lady only drew the characters. They were also not pleased with the character designs. I only saw it on one TikTok. I haven't been able to find it again. You can look on their Instagram um, for their art. Again, you've probably seen it if you looked at character art before. Not even for Throne of Glass, but for like very popular book um, series in general. They draw a lot, right? And it looks good. But people didn't like how this turned out for the edition. They were like, ugh, this is not how they look, blah, blah, blah. But then the artist was like, I talked to Sarah J. Maas about this. <laughs> they were like, I talked to the creator and she was like, it's fine. So what are you coming after me for? Now, that being said, the creator of the edges and of the covers is Michaela Alcaino. I don't know if she's Italian, American, wherever she's from. Michaela made the edges and the cover. And I saw this because Fairy Loot posted it on their Instagram and said, cover and edges by Michaela. So she didn't post anything about getting hate. Maybe people didn't know. Maybe she did get hate and I just didn't see it, but I didn't see anyone talk about Michaela who actually made that shit. Peace and love, Michaela, you flopped. And I mean that with peace and love again. Peace and love, Michaela, 
maybe you haven't read the books, that's fine. Um, it's boring. Why the fuck would I want a book with a mountain on it? And that's it. I don't want that. Um, what else is there? Oh, additionally, yeah. People pointed out that they ripped off the design from... Wait, I'll put, I'll put it up? From another small business that does sprayed edges called Acrylic Pigs Bookish Nook, maybe. And the design is very similar in the sense that it has a castle on it, it has a hawk on it, it has mountains, it has grass, and it has a now white stag and you can also see in the left corner um starting in the first book that there is also a hint of a tree a hint of a tree that is very prevalent in the other in the fairy loot design there's a hint of a tree and people said this is a copy of my uh, none of my of their work um that was obviously denied i don't really know like from the layout obviously it's the same and from the design, it's also the same. But I think, like, what else... I, I was thinking about it. I was like, what else could you have put on the edges? Like, either this is AI, or allegedly, or it's just a poor copy. Because, uh, quite frankly, I don't think either of them look good. Piece of love to acrylic lips. Acrylic pub lips book nush, book. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I don't think it slays either. Like, I wouldn't buy that either. I don't think either of them slay. Honestly, I could do it better. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what I would put on it, guys. Like, people were mad about it, but like, what would you do? What do you want on the, f the... Some people were like, I want the scene from the book. Huh? Like what? Like what? There's so many scenes. <laughs> who, who would potentially, like, what would you choose from? I don't really know. That being said, people were just upset about it, okay? And of course, um, again, I don't know why this was blown over. If you don't like it, don't buy it. People really took it personally that they did this. I don't have any understanding for that. Why the fuck are you making such a big deal out of it? If you don't like it, don't buy it. Sending, like, actively seeking out the artist and then sending them hate is so beyond me. I would never think of doing that with my time. I would just keep scrolling. But people were so excited for this. They were ready to spend those $200 on this fucking whatever, you know. You can spend your money however you like, but anyway, that's not how I would spend it. So there were apologies from both the Fairy Loot team and the artist Salome Morgana. I didn't see any from Michaela. Michaela, our queen, who is uh, kind of wiggling out of the situation. I'm gonna look on her Instagram again really quickly, guys. I don't wanna miss anything. But again, I never- I didn't see anyone talk about Morgana. What's up with this woman? Uh, no. Michaela. They saw it both start with an M. So, on the- on the Fairy Loot Instagram it says, Exclusive redesigned covers by Michaela, and then Foil on the hardcover by Michaela, and character- no. Digital sprayed edges by Michaela. Okay, so what did Michaela post about this? She said, update, I am, ah, update, I am in current discussion with Fairyloot in order to redesign and involve and il illustrate the digital edges. I was deeply honored to be involved to, in this project and remain committed to delivering a product that honors both my authors and their books. Your patience during this update process is greatly appreciated. But she didn't make like a story post or anything. Okay, I don't want to read the comments now because I just have to be quiet. Anyway, she has a post on her Instagram, but Morgana was the one who explicitly posted- ah! <laughs> I accidentally clicked on Reels, <laughs> on Instagram Reels, and this is what I see! Get her off my screen! No! What the fuck is Rebecca Young doing there? <laughs> Jump scare! What the fuck? Keep that woman away from me, I will get physical. Oh my god! No, 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 I can't get bad. Allegedly. Uh, no, I would never get um, physical. Physical! Only in a romantic way, but that's obviously not what she wants, so I wouldn't do it. I only do things with consent. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to the fucking update. Fairy Loot posted an update um, for the situation, and this is the first time I'm reading any of these statements, because I was like, let's cold read them, that's how you say it, right? Let's react to them on the, on the pod. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, Fairy Loot says, <clears throat> We have heard your concerns about the Throne of Glass exclusive editions and we will be in touch soon with updates. The online harassment our illustrators have received is unacceptable. We support our artists wholeheartedly and are proud to be working with them on these special editions. Thank you to the readers who have taken the time to show kindness to the artists. Not me. Just kidding. I called it boring. I called it boring. I did. Because it is boring. Should I lie? Are you wanting me to lie? No, but I would never send hate to anyone. You guys know this. I've never sent hate to anyone. I've only ever spread hate in my on my channel. So, Mrs. Salome um, posted two slides on this with a lot of text. So, bear with me. If I realize this is not... It doesn't make it, like, if it's not important to the story, then I will not continue reading. <laughs> Just kidding. They say, The past few days have been eye-opening. Okay. I've never thought highly of myself or my art before. Girl, don't undersell yourself. What the fuck? What, what, what kind of statement is that? But now I know people love to hate my art style. Oh, yeah. So she is the one that did the character design. Um, that, honestly, I don't really know what the issue was. I saw she did... What's her name again? What's her name again? Manon? And that one looked a little silly. Not ugly per se, but just not the char like the character, but anyway. Like, anyway. Should I say it again? Anyway. I didn't want to make a statement about this fairy loot drama happening, but I can't be sound even if I wish to. First, I want to thank my fellow artists. Yes. We love them. I once felt the same with the Sarah J Maas fandom, but now I feel like a used rag doll. My art is not welcome anymore, and I'm not welcome either. And to be frank, I would rather give love to other amazing books than redraw Reese over and over. <laughs> Period. Get, get head over minor details. I am tired, overworked. Period. And I can't compete with AI with my human skills. Golly pop. Like, really. Nobody, none of these bitches that are complaining can draw like you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I get that it's hard, especially if she's getting a lot of DMs about it. And I feel really bad because I don't, just don't understand the thought process behind people sending hate, message, hate messages directly to people. Like, so they make sure they see them, right? I've received my fair share of death threats. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, so what? Guys, I've worked customer service my entire life, retail. <laughs> I've encountered worse, you know what I mean? I can't deal with it. So, unfortunately, I cannot make perfect art that everyone equally loves. Yes, I'm already tired of drawing passport portraits as it is. Okay, uh, from this day on, I won't be sharing any Sarah J Maas art ever. Honestly, Sarah J Maas friends, they need, to, they need to be ended, I wanted to say. No, they just need to stop. You need to chill. Is it that deep? You can't do it better. Those bitches, like, arguing they can't draw, I bet. Maybe two of them, at most. You know, that's why I wouldn't... Like, obviously, it, it gets to you, but that's why I would always, like, try to reason with myself. Like, these bitches are jealous. I say as the number one hater. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a little bit... Um, how do you say? Whatever. I don't want to say. I don't want to make um, a false statement. I don't know what I'm saying. What does she say? I am going to focus on my personal art, draw more scenes rather than just portraits. I'm going to give more love to my OCs and try to change my art style because I'm the one who hates it the most. What is this? What is what? What is going on? Wait, why? Why do you hate your art style, girly pop? You slay. I don't really know what's going on. Hope she finds her peace. Because it's not that... <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not that bad. No, it's not bad at all. Anyway. As for the fairy loot artworks, be assured that all the art was approved by Sarah Tomas herself and her team. I am sad that my art was disappointing, but I put all my energy into it. I wholeheartedly hope that if not everyone, most of you might like it. It seems I failed miserably, and I feel sorry for this. I've read all of your comments. Unfortunately, I can't depict characters the way everyone wants... Uh, every one of you wants. Wish I could, but I'm not AI to generate thousands of images to choose from. Nobody wants that. Don't worry. I'm going to take your constructive criticism to heart and improve my skills, try my best, and change my flaws. No, you don't have flaws. Well, you know, improve, but I wouldn't say that. Um, but I won't be taking vile hate comments, which give nothing but sadness and grief. Period. I understand that you all are frustrated, disappointed, and angry. I sympathize with you all. Once again, I'm sorry that I wasn't enough. No, I just, this is so dramatic. Chill. I tried, please be kind to me and other artists. Our skills might be lacking sometimes, but art might look weird. 
no, our art might look weird, but we are human. Who the fuck is telling this poor woman that she is not enough over some fucking Throne of Glass fan art? Who the fuck are these people doing that? I don't understand. I can never comprehend any of this. <sighs> what am I supposed to say about that? Chill out. It's not that deep. I just under <sighs> The time and energy that people put into things, you know, it's, it's crazy to me. And I say that as the number one hater. The number one hater. The number one the president of the book hater club but at some points the hate just reach, reaches a level that i cannot comprehend why why is this poor lady saying she's not enough what the fuck did you send her to make her think that i'm i feel so bad so i hope she finds her peace and she uh, maybe she, maybe she's going to maybe they're <laughs> what's the one called she, they're gonna get charlie bowwater on it the lady who draws all of the shit all of the fucking art the number one uh, book artist. I feel like they have like a um, rotation of three different artists that all of the book people always choose to draw art for them and that's it. Why are we not going to like smaller artists too? Anyway, I'm not in the, commun uh, the community. I am in the community. I'm not in the sphere, the publishing sphere and everything, so I don't know. But that's a thought that I would... Um, play with. I don't know what I'm saying. You know what? Fairy Loot actually had some other dramas going on. I mentioned earlier, if you look up Fairy Loot drama on TikTok, there's going to be so much. They've had shipping issues for months. I've heard people talk about the fact that they haven't received their box from like last July. <laughs> That's almost been a year. And that goes on and on and on. So I'm curious to see with the romantic box. I'm sure there's gonna be more drama. And also, um, there was a drama around the... They did a special edition for the crown of Niaxia, which is the Serpent in the Wings of Night. If you guys remember, I did a... Or is it the crown? Is it that? I think it is. Crown of Niaxia? Or is it the other series there? It's the author, Clarissa... Clarissa... Broad... Bend. Clarissa or Carissa? Doesn't matter. They wrote the uh, one series with that I didn't read, and then they read they wrote the other one, Serpent and the Wings of Night. But I think Crowns of Nexia is Serpent and the Wings of Night. They did a special edition of that, and then I saw people talk about the fact that because those you have to purchase from their store, right, from the online store. And if you're a member, you can get early access. And if you are not a member then you don't get early access. And then people people were talking about the fact that they had to, had to, oh my God, they had to wait in queue for eight hours. And then they didn't even get the book because they had to enter a password that they didn't have. And let me just tell you, that's a giga flop. That's a giga flop. That would turn me off so much from a website. And then allegedly some were left over in the store because just the website wasn't working. I'm just thinking if you know that you have such a high demand, why are you not putting energy and time into making your website operate properly? Kind of reminds me of um, League of Legends, little X course. They have a, uh, how do you say? My camera is overheating. How do you call it, uh, guys? The the browser, not the browser that you open when you open League of Legends. The the client is what it's called. The client. It's so bugged out and it never works properly. And they have such a large community of players, right? Such a huge game. Why the fuck does it not work? Why are we not trying to fix like such a simple, I would think, issue? If I were president. <laughs> Everything would be different, guys. Every I am already president of the Book Hater Club, but we need to think bigger. But now I'll lay down in my bed. I'll be back soon. Oh, wait. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. I looked at the artist Mikaela's Instagram while I was laying in my bed. While I was laying in my bed, just so I knew what was going on. And they have commented back to a few people commenting and asking questions. Um, because some people did realize that it was not uh, Salome Morgana who uh, did the edges. And she replied back to some comments and said, please no hate. It was my interpretation of the scene. And then people were like, you can't interpret it something that's written like 
that's explicitly described. Like if it was ambiguous, am, oh my god, ambiguous, then maybe interpreted something because there's no clear description. But if it's already described, why would you change it? Because I completely forgot there's also the fucking dragon. Spoiler, dragon. I'm not gonna say what dragon in the fucking sky. And that's also the wrong color. So people were like, what's going on? And she said she did not see the other one, the other design from the small business before. She was not influenced by that. Please don't send hate. And I also say, don't send hate to the artist. It's like, if this was cleared by Sarah J Maas and her fucking team, maybe this is gonna open the eyes of some people who adore Sarah J Maas, that she really is just in it for the money. We had the Crescent City extra chapter debacle, then the Crescent City debacle that just is the this fuck-ass book, it's so bad, and then now this. That was apparently like, the okay was given by her and her team. That woman does not care, she's got enough money. She's got enough money, she's over it, I feel like. Please love. Like, I truly think she's like, why the fuck am I still doing this? <laughs> and she needs a new editor also. Did I say that before? I think I said in the review that she needs a new editor because everyone's just giving her the okay and I'm giving her the not okay. If I were on her team, I would tell her what's up. I don't want to be on her team, honestly. That being said, that's all for today, guys. I mean, people were blowing this so out of proportion, this whole drama. That's... To a point where I think people who did not know what was going on, they were like, what the fuck happened? Was Fairloot? I don't know. Did they kill someone? Like, that's kind of how people were putting the situation. But at the end of the day, it's just covers that don't look the way they wanted to. And people get so worked up over this shit. I just don't get it. <laughs> Could never be me, you know? I don't care. I'm not buying any- I couldn't even afford it, but I would never buy something I don't like. Why the fuck would I buy it? Who's peer pressuring me into buying the Throne of Glass Fairy Loot Special Editions? Nobody. Who the fuck gives a fuck? He's in love, of course. You guys let me know if you've had a bookish subscription, if this is something that you care about, if you can't understand the outrage, because again, they were just disappointed, but is it that deep? I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it's that deep. And let me know if you're excited for Fourth Wing 3. And that's honestly all I have to say. Like, there's nothing else I have to say about this. There's another thing relating to Sarah J Maas that happened. Um, not directly to her, she didn't do anything with this, but it's just about her characters. But I think I'll save that for next podcast. You, again, comment if you have any ideas. I need to save up the things, which is why I didn't um, want to include it in this one. I was thinking about it. Um, it's about the fucking... Mm, the ball. Do you guys know about the the Equitar ball that people do? I wanted to talk about that, but... Because it was cancelled. Ugh, I said it. I wanted to talk about it, but there's some more to that. And we're going to talk about that next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. This was very yappish. But also, this this whole drama, this whole situation was so... Over dramatic, unnecessary, disappointing, ridiculous. Anyone know any other words? I can't think of any right now. It's just a, such an unnecessary drama. But you know, in case you didn't hear about it or you heard about it and you just don't know what's going on, now you know. And now you know that it was so blown out of proportion. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at YT. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Share, subscribe, become a member. What else is there? What else? Turn on the notifications. Click every button. Click all of the buttons. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch all the way through, I love you so much. Thank you again to all of my members and shout out to Emion. I kind of want to say it like that. It's kind of French. Emion for joining. Maybe it is French. Maybe. I've never heard of it before, so how would I know? But thank you so much for joining. And, you know... Guys, I hope all of you stay happy, you stay healthy, peace and love, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video, which is the bride review. Hopefully we'll see each other there. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>